This is 1300 TPD, 12 TPH, Gold CIP plant design for reference. We can design or adjust the solution based on your mine situation and requirements. This setup is one complete processing flow sheet including feeding, crushing system, grinding system, leaching pre-treatment, leaching, and activated carbon adsorption processing, gold loaded carbon desorption and electrolytic stage, and tailing water recycle system. 1. Feeding plus crushing system. The raw gold stone feed into a big hopper via excavator. There is one chute feeder under the hopper, which can feed the material into the jaw crusher evenly. The hopper can be made at the mine site by clients themselves according to the real situation. The jaw crusher crush rock from 210 mm to below 60 mm. The output from jaw crusher transport to next fine jaw crusher by belt conveyor. The fine jaw crusher crushes rock from 60 mm to below 20 mm. The output from fine jaw crusher transport to next vibrating screen by belt conveyor. The gravel size is bigger than 20 mm back to fine jaw crusher for crushing again. The smaller than 20 mm output goes to the next storage hopper via belt conveyor. There is one electromagnetic vibration feeder under the hopper as well. It's also for buffering and feeding the material evenly. Transport the fine gravel to the ball mill by a conveyor. 2. Grinding system. The ball mill for grinding the fine gravel into fine powder to release the inside gold from rock. The output from the ball mill goes to the spiral classifier for classifying. They return big sand back to ball mill for grinding again. To make sure the final output from grinding can meet 80% less than 200 mesh, 0.074 mm. 3. Leaching pretreatment. The small fine sand powder from the spiral classifier will go to a slurry tank. Use two slurry pumps to pump the slurry into a thickener. Before the slurry is transported into the thickener, there is one safety screen to screen some waste first. The under screen will go to the inside thickener directly. At the same time, the flocculant is required to add for the thickener. The overflow from the thickener goes to settling ponds. Then the water can be recycled after precipitation. The underflow from the thickener will flow into a mixing tank. Then use a slurry pump to pump the material into two leaching tanks. Related chemicals are needed to add accordingly here. 4. Leaching and activated carbon adsorption processing. 8. PC's double impeller adsorption agitation tank with carbon and roots blower. Work for adsorption agitation tank. 5. Gold-loaded carbon desorption and electrolytic stage. The gold concentrates will transport to a safety screen, then will go to normal temperature and normal pressure desorption electrolysis system. After that drying oven for gold mud. Finally, use a gold smelting furnace for melting the gold bar. 6. Tailing water recycle system. The tailing from adsorption agitation tanks will go to a liner vibrating screen for screening carbon first. The under screen goes to the under tank or pond, then pump to the big cone pond or tank by a slurry pump, then use a filter pump to feed the slurry into the filter press for filtering and recycling the water.